Take a look at what's coming to Central Florida roads. Maybe you've seen this out and about. Starting today, you'll be seeing more of the Waymo autonomous vehicles. They're white Jaguars and we're one of the new test markets. I've seen them operating in Phoenix. They pause for the dog if you're walking and you know, they do the left hand turn at the arrow. It's it's amazing technology. One of them actually started following Channel 9's Nick Pampantonis around this afternoon. So. Nick joins us live near I drive. Nick, you hopped out of the car with your curiosity and got a better view. You know, it was the third time we had seen it in a short amount of time. And so, yeah, I was doing laps around this parking lot that we're in right now, taking a look at the direction of travel that is allowed here, the road signs that will eventually have to navigate one day when it comes out fully here. And just so everybody knows, Humans are behind the wheel right now, but the company is about to launch their autonomous fleet in Miami and Atlanta, and of course, they're looking at what's ahead. Now, I actually rode Waymo a few times in San Francisco back in January. It functions like what you're used to. You request a ride, the car shows up, and it parks itself, and it takes off when you hit a button. They know it's a little freaky for new riders, so there's the tutorial on your first ride, and they play some relaxing spa music throughout. Mayor Dyer said he spoke to Waymo's leaders a few days ago about what they're doing here for safety reasons as they go into a city and figure out how drivers drive, basically. So if you see a Waymo car driving around the city um, the next few weeks, that's what. Now, specifically, it's stuff like, do people stop for pedestrians? How, you know, when, when do they do that? How do they do that? Waymo's been testing in Florida since 2019. They came here to experience our summertime rain conditions back then. Now, as with any new car technology, some people are concerned about crashes. The company just recalled 1,200 of its cars because they kept hitting chains and gate-like things stretching across roads. However, data shows Waymo, car, Waymo cars, excuse me, crash far less often than human or cars that are driven by humans. And I actually, in one of those rides, I was in encountered a situation the Waymo encountered a barrier it wasn't expecting stopped an intersection for 45 seconds it did eventually figure things out and continued on its way after rerouting live in Orlando Nick Papantonis Channel 9 Eyewitness News